Lekich was 17, the son of Ranglev's mayor John Anjane, when he came to Long Island, among a group of Marshallese scheduled to have their damaged thyroids removed. As part of that trip, Dr. Kennard took them into Manhattan to see the sights. He even invited Lekich and others to his house in Setauket, along Conscience Bay. A few years later, in 1972, Lekic died of leukemia from the radiation he had absorbed. Rongelep had suffered birth defects, cancer, thyroid disease, and other problems linked to the radioactive debris from the Bravo bomb. But nothing convinced him of the ongoing health threat, as did this young man's death. Lekic's death shattered his father, John Anjane, seen here in the 1985 Australian documentary. Rongelap's mayor would never again trust his friend, Dr. Kennard, and his assurances their island was safe. Privately, Dr. Kennard wondered about his public assurances of Rongelap's safety. He even ate coconuts from Rongelap to see just how much radioactivity would be left in his own body. I think that dad was not completely satisfied with the results of the data and he probably felt the only way to come up with a proper set of data would have been to create a controlled situation in which he would put himself in line with the other people that had been exposed and then study his own body. 20 years after being returned to their contaminated island, the people of Rongelap didn't know whether to believe Brookhaven anymore. Meetings between them grew tense as worrisome health and safety information, kept secret for years, was now revealed. I've asked the magistrate to call this meeting so that we could greet you and introduce to you the members of the medical team. Those who once trusted Dr. Kennard the most, like Mayor John Anjane, no longer did. Uncle John was devastated for losing his son. His death brought sadness to all the islanders here. My Uncle John was angry because he was a leader at the time and he felt that he had not lost his son only, but he also lost a member of his community.